Hello everyone and welcome back to Resident Evil 2. Hey, 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 you can't leave. I'm gonna go get the drink. Pause it then. Why? Because I'm going back through this game to go through it with you who have not. Ugh. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 Oh no, it's done eat it, fuck me. Okay. I'm not gonna see the whiskers then. Oh yeah, see. Not yet. Fuck you, asshole. So, that's a whole heel time. All for nothing, because I went the wrong way. Fun yet, Jordan? Not particularly. Why not? This game's annoying. No, it's great. It's a great game. No Alright, so this gave me a film roll, right? Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you what's in the film roll, and I'm going to tell you what you had to do to, to get it in the original game. And then, as soon as I get the Magnum, I'm immediately going to shoot that fucking liquor in the fucking face. fucking thing happened to him. I forgot to develop the film. Oh well, I gotta go back over there anyway. By the way, did you see that? Magnum is a completely missable weapon. It's in here. No. I need for it in here. Well, that was. 
those lights on? Fuck me. There it is. Is that what was in here? We played this before I forgot where shit was. Um, uh, well, about to be second death, boys. About to be second death, boys. Don't worry, don't. Leon couldn't get to the door. See, look. Now you're not the only one who's died. Not speaking doesn't make for great quality in the time, mate. My throat needs a break. They come for the conversation, mate. Uh, hey, but your eyeballs don't. What are you doing there, mate? I, uh, I hurt myself very badly. Yeah, but did you hit your eyeballs? Coughed up a little blood. Oh, well. Maybe that's why we don't scream. I don't want to fucking hear it. There's a lost episode of Spectre Night that there's a reason why it is lost. Nah, I won't. No. I only know what so you're talking about. I will about. not listen to your hypocrisy. I don't know what hypocrisy you're talking about. Yeah, Destiny's a witness. You should never take your side. She has a few times. Only because I was absolutely right. Eh, it's because you supported her morals. It's not entirely true. Fuck morals. You have them too. Bam. Huh? Burly. You wouldn't kill a kid, would you? No, but I said barely. Exactly. Morals. S still barely. You would barely not kill a kid? Exactly. Huh? Exactly. That's terrible. Yeah, well, I've never claimed to be a great human being, mate. That's a terrible thing to say. Hey, look, it's a bitch. So you're basically Hitler? Yeah. Hey, look, it's your own time. You were wondering where that spade key door was, weren't you? That's where you get it. Yes. Sense. Makes sense. And then you get out this way because that liquor's in there. He's a dumb bitch. Careful how you said liquor. Yes, liquor. Don't say it with a pillow muffling your voice. <laughs> Please. Bicker. Don't tip fake. Picker. Don't don't tip fake. Liquor. Please stop. Stop what? I'm just saying, liquor. Please stop. 
With a pillow muffling your voice. Though. Well, I mean, you know, I can't help it. The pillow just so happens to be against my face. Do That's just a jaggedy old rig riggedy ass knife. Nothing special. Making all that noise, quiet now. No. You're very distracting. It's just a liquor. Oh boy. Where's the knife? Hiding, because I don't remember where it's where I need to go to get the beats. Oh, okay. Yes. No, nah, it's getting great. The frame rate, though. That's because we're running it through the ever media. You didn't do that normally? Yeah, it did. I mean, no. Running through the TV from, straight from the Xbox, no. Now, Resident Evil 3, on the other hand. Well, no, I haven't played that without the ever media either. Yeah, that's the one you're going through with Jason, right? Yeah. But I recorded it with Destin. So you'll get to see if it does it or not, right? Well, debatable, because, I mean, he doesn't have the same kind of TV I have or the same kind of Xbox. Do you want me to test it out? Well, no, I don't have Resident Evil 3. I'll get it tomorrow. Why? Huh? Are right, you going to get it? Everybody else is sucking his dick. Why can't I? Are you going to go through it without me? Or are you just going to call it dumb and boring? No, I mean, it's probably more, like, it's, there's probably more happening in it than in this game. Because this game isn't, like, I understand. <laughs> like, I understand. <laughs> this game is meant to, like, build up. It's this you, first You would day. think that, wouldn't you? There's nothing going on in that game? Oh, I mean, there's stuff going on. But, I'll say I like Dardigan did, and I like Resident Evil 3. The remake, just like the original, is a straight up fucking cash grab. Resident Evil 3 original was a cash grab? Yes. For one reason in particular. It does nothing to forward the plot for Resident Evil. It takes place in Raccoon City while all this shit is going down. It does not forward anything. The only, the best thing about it is Nemesis. And it's just about Jill Valentine. That's it. It's definitely a fun game, though. The newer one's a lot shorter than the original. They took a whole part of the game out. What the fuck? I forgot to do something so I could give you a fun fact. So I ran all the way back here. I hope you appreciate it. I don't, I don't, I don't enjoy that. I don't think that it's really that I don't think that remasters should do that. Or do that. what? Or like when they remaster a game, they should do that. What? Take entire fucking chunks out of the game. No, they don't, but, you know, cash grab. Like, I really, like, when you hear about a game, you're like, man, like, oh my god. Yeah. Rising Rookie, huh? I want to um, just make a um, rookie rise. <laughs> I'm trying to remember, I'm trying to remember who she is. Uh, is she, is she of age? Oh, uh, duh, yes. She's, okay. uh, she's in Resident Evil Operation Zero. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta oh, come on. We do not have time. I gotta do it. You called me a bitch for going to get a Gatorade. Yeah, but but I gotta remember her name now. It's, oh, it's my God. Me. He called me a bitch for going it's, to get a Gatorade. Me. Rebecca Chambers. I didn't have to look it up. That's it. Her name is Rebecca Chambers. All right, so that picture was in the original game, right? Uh-huh. Would you like to know what you had to do to get it? You had to interact with Wesker's desk 50 times in a row. Like open the door and everything? 
like tap, sit there and tap the interact button and go through the words on it 50 times in a row. How the fuck anyone ever figured that bullshit out? I mean, that that is a trope in some games. Like, you, you say that, but in some games, interacting with, this, with something a bunch of times in a row has been... But it's garbage. Bullshit tropes are bullshit tropes. And... But 50 times for a fucking... Back then, I pixelated photograph of Rebecca Chambers. Who no one knew at the time? Hey, guess what? No, everybody knew her. Um, my brain work. My brain work. I give you a... The real question is, is why did Albert have that in his desk? Um, but yeah, I don't think... I, I'm not... I see that's the problem I have with my with some remasters is taking entire chunks out of games. I don't think they should do that. I think a remaster should be what it is. Well, you got to think about it. They're not remasters. Is it a full remake? Yes. This is a remake. Resident Evil Three is a remake. Final Fantasy Seven is a remake. They are all remakes, and a remake doesn't follow the remaster formula. Because a remaster is just giving us the same game with updated graphics. What is Resident Evil 4 going to be? Remake or remake? Remake. See, I probably won't fuck with it, man. <laughs> well, I mean, you'll still fuck with it, but hopefully they won't take it It better not come with a $60 goddamn price tag. It will, just like these two did. It is an entire new fucking game. I call bullshit that I didn't hit him with that. That just now that I know that I just don't think it's a good fucking idea. What? Taking out whole bits of game. Oh no! I mean, this game didn't take out parts. It changed some stuff, but it didn't take parts out. See, and that's good. It's good that it doesn't do that. Yeah, you're right. Resident Evil Three did it. This game added some new stuff too. Well, let's hope they just add stuff to Resident Evil Four and don't take things out. I don't know. There are some parts I'd be okay with being gone. The two El, El Gigante fight? No, that's a pretty good fight. The quick time events? No, that's pretty alright. Most of them. The fish? No, that's pretty good. The chainsaw? More like the fucking boulders. Those aren't that bad. No, but they just don't fit. They're hilarious. But beyond the boulders, what I'd hate even what I hate even more. There's this giant Salazar statue that's gonna chase you. Oh yeah, that was pretty goofy. Oh, and they need to update Ashley's AI. Oh yeah, God. Sure, her AI will be so much fucking better. Like, I'm fine with her still getting captured and shit, but... Don't be fucking retarded. <laughs> don't, like... Don't be, uh, don't be fucking stupid. Oh, well, that, that would be a cause for concern right there. What, out of ammo? Yes. Nah. Mm -hmm. So is all of this to get to Ada? Yes. God damn, she is not worth this. What? I would have cut my losses and fucked off. What? So, nobody in the rest of the country knows this is happening right now, do they? Yes, news. News is a thing. I still think it'd be cool if in Resident Evil 3 you like pass a building or you pass by the police station and you saw like mm. Leon shooting shit through a window. Well, that wouldn't be possible. Why? Because Resident Evil 3 takes place before and after Resident Evil 2. Oh, that'd be cool if it took place before. Yeah. Would make sense. You'll know why it won't make sense when you play the game. I don't know, that's just not my favorite thing. Like in Prisoner of Azkaban, when you saw Harry in the woods, but you saw it from the other Harry's perspective. I mean, that's an entirely different ball game, but yeah. Huh? That's an entirely different ball game, but yeah. But it's like seeing shit from a different perspective, even though you've already witnessed those events. That sort of thing. Kind of like in um, Gears 3, if you think back. <clears throat> you know, the very first like act of the game takes place on the boat. Mm -hmm. And then the, 
the first chapter takes place on the boat, and then the next chapter takes place in Hanover, right next to the boat. And you see all the shit that happened on the boat, and you get to cause the explosion that happened on the boat. Like, shit like that. Yeah. That that I like. We can't do that, because different areas. Hello, elevator. I do prefer Nemesis to uh, Tyrant. Even though I think Tyrant, by nature, is more menacing. Nemesis used to be more menacing. They butchered my man, though. Yeah, because Watch, Watch Mojo like talked about it. They're like, there was always this looming sense of fear that he could come out literally at any time. And, he was, and they were like, and now in the new games, you don't do that. He is Nerf Boy. I'll take I'll take Tyrant and fucking Nemesis any day over that fucking piece of shit in six. God, what a disrespect. Nah, he's not. Right. No, no, he's not. He's what, you didn't like Mr. Drill on? No, he's fucking boring. Nah, he's great. He had no character. Ah, uh, of course he did. Nemesis and fucking Tyrant have character. That's because they're the only enemy in the fucking game. Old dude, old Mr. Drill on a dad. Like, they could have done something more with the whole roaming character. At that point, when you saw him, you were just like, oh, another one. Be that one. Uh, I really hope Resident Evil 8 flips the entire formula on its head. Probably won't. I don't know, it's becoming a trend in games lately. The whole, like, like with Warzone flipping the formula on its head, Breath of the Wild in 2017. Yeah, this is Resident Evil. Completely, Their like, formula flip was Resident Evil 7. Completely bombing the fuck. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How they keep that formula flip in 8. And it's not like a return to form type situation where they tried something new and they were like, oh, we didn't like that, even though you did. Resident Evil 7 was the return to form. No, Minus, return to what they, what they uh, were. No, they're not going to go back to an action game. They'll keep it survival. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I wish I knew where the fuck I was going. I hope they don't do that. I want them to keep on the road that they're going. I don't want them to go, oh, we didn't like that. You may have, but we didn't. I mean, I just don't want... I mean, I want an option between... If I play as Leon, I want an option between first person and third person. If I play as Leon, I want third person. You fuck. Ethan, whatever. I don't care what Ethan looks like. I like this character, though. Yeah, but you know who's better? Hey, he still did some pretty busted shit for being an average Jedi. But Leon... Gotta give the man credit. What? what? Do. Leon. I mean, sure, Leon. We already gave Leon credit, but you gotta give Ethan credit, too. Yeah, but, you know, if it came between Leon and Ethan, Ethan get his ass. No, I'm not it. talking about verses. I'm just talking about overall what they did. Yeah, but, you know, that's all I want. I like, I like Ethan. He's a good character. But as far as him being in the next game, he can fuck off. Just that simple. He probably won't be. It's good. I don't want him to be. I want Leon. Leon. They, they ended his story. No, no, no. He'll be back. This fucking Resident Evil Chief. They get their mileage out of their characters. I don't like other games. I don't know. He's pretty forgettable. Nah, Chief. They, they get their mileage out of their characters. I promise you he will be back. One way or another, he'll be back. As long as Mia's not back. She'll probably be back, too. Because she was annoyed. She just won't be a bad guy. And I found my way back. She was annoying. Her voice pissed me off. Raising of Seven, good game. But Mia, Wolf. You like how they nerfed the boy, Chris? No, he looks fucking horrible. He's thin red field. <laughs> he looks horrible. You don't like his new looking resume? He looks set? horrible. You don't like it? He looks horrible. What about the Zoe mission? That was fun. Yeah, he just got punched the shit out of thing. <laughs> Did you watch Mark's video? <laughs> no, I played it myself. God, it was funny.
<laughs> he was so fucking amazed by punching shit. I did play it. Because I figured, you know, it was whatever. No, nah, it's fucking dope. Hands down, one of the best DLCs I've ever seen in the game. Be okay. I want that fucking Viking Dark Souls to come out. Be a lot of people do, turn into Vikings lately. What Viking team are you talking about? That wasn't there a Dark Souls game that we heard about that was supposed to be based around Vikings and shit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was some game. I don't remember it. I just can't remember what the name like it was. Like you're smoking crack. Nah. Yeah. I am 100% not. Actually, uh -huh. You're pretty much on crack right now. Next game they're working on is called Elden Ring. Yeah. That's not Vikings. In it no way, shape, or form was that trailer Viking. It wasn't? Nah. <laughs> I thought it was supposed to be. You astonish me sometimes. That's a long time. Just remember, 2020 is six months deep already. It's long time. Almost there. It's not. It's gonna fly by. Oh yeah, that's right. This is the one that um is getting a little bit of help from um oh, George Martin. Martin. Talking about adding in new and horrifying bosses. I think they'll see it. I think I'm done with that in minutes. Ah, close enough. Alright, everyone, that's the end of this episode. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you want to see more, subscribe. And as always, we hope to see you again. But until then, keep it popping. Oh, uh, or not.